I'm going through a bit of a difficult transition right now. Hey, Power Director peeps. How y'all doing out there? My name is Malik, and I'm back on your screen with more Power Director love. That Power Director love you're looking for from Power Director University. Today I'm going to show you how to design your own transitions using a transition designer in Power Director 15 Ultimate. So let's jump off into the software and make it happen. Here we are in Power Director 15 Ultimate, and I'm going to show you how to get your transition design on. Alrighty then. The transition designer is a cool tool that lets you create transitions from any photo, image, or even your video snapshot. So as you can see, I have some clips down in the timeline. And what I want to do first is I want to go to the transition room. Once I'm here, I want to go up here to the create a new alpha transition button. And when I do that, it's going to open up my drive. I can go and navigate to whatever image I want. I'm going to select this image right here and I'm going to click on open. So now it opens up the transition designer and there's several properties that I can change on the left. The first one is image. So if I open up the image setting, the first thing I can do is if I want to only use part of the image, I can crop this. And what will happen is it will crop the image to that size, but it will stretch the image out so that it still covers the entire screen. So if I were to crop this here, let's say I only pick this portion here. And now if I scrub the timeline, you'll see that it's only showing that piece and it stretched it out so it still fit the entire screen. If I were to reset this, so I'm gonna click on reset, it's gonna bring it back to the entire image. Now if I want to crop it and keep the same aspect ratio, all I need to do is select keep aspect ratio and then when I crop it, it'll keep it at that same aspect ratio. So I'm gonna click on reset because I don't want to crop this image. And I can uncheck keep aspect ratio, don't really need it. So the next option I have is to flip upside down. So if I want the image upside down, I can just click on this box and it'll make it upside down. I can also flip the image from left to right. If I want to have like mirror image of it, you can click on that box and then it flips it left to right for me. Some really simple and cool options under the image option. I'm gonna close this out. And then I have an option for border. So I'm gonna open up the option for border. And if I enable this by clicking this little box, border adds a border to the transition. So you see that the color that's on here is green and around where the transition is happening, you have this green border. I can change the opacity of that border. So right now it's at 100, so as, you, as I move it down, you can see that it becomes more opaque until that border just disappears if I go all the way down to zero. Now, under fill type, I have an option to choose a uniform color, which would just be one color. If I click on this, I can change it to different colors utilizing the tools in front of me. Or I can choose two color gradient, which basically creates it where it's one color that starts off and then it blends into both colors and then it transitions to the other color. If I choose a different color, you'll see that on the border now I have one color on top that transitions to the other color. All right, so those are some pretty cool options that you get. And if you play with your opacity, you can really get a lot of different cool looks if you wanna add a border to your transition. So I'm gonna uncheck border. And I'm gonna close up the border option. Next we have shift progression. 
So shift progression controls the progression of the transition from the first clip to the second clip. So what you can do is you can add keyframes wherever you want to really control how your transition works. So if I want to, I can add a keyframe here and change the look of it. And what this will do, it will change the way that the transition goes. By moving this first keyframe down, at the beginning of the transition, barely anything's happening. And then it starts to jump into the transition more quickly because of the change that I made to the line. And then you have it flattened out here. So basically, you can change these. If you don't like something that you did, you can just right click on one of the keyframes and you can choose remove keyframe. If you want to remove all the keyframes, you can just right click any one of them and choose remove all keyframes. And it'll go back to a regular transition, a straight transition from clip A to clip B. Now also what you can do is if you want to change the transition and just invert it, you can click on invert transition area. And what it does is it just plays the transition in reverse. So I click on this now. So I actually play the transition in reverse from what it was before. And you see all the blue and the yellow. So now if I click on this, it changes them around. So there you go. So that's shift progression. And the last option we have here is edge. So for edge, you can change the edge sharpness of the transition. So here where it's just showing clip A, which is represented by blue. And then as you transition across, you see that it's changing to yellow. Yellow is the B transition. So you see how it transitions to that next clip. If I change the sharpness on this, what you'll notice is that if I move it to the right, becomes softer and the it's more smooth and if I move it to the left becomes sharper and the edges are crisp so you have the option of making your transition smoother or making it sharper it's really up to you how you like so once you have all of the things set up the way that you want you just click on save as and then you name it And you click on OK. And now I'm going to click on OK. And now you'll see that under the custom transitions, I have PDU transition, which I just created. So if I wanted to modify this, I can just right click on it and select modify template. If I do that, it opens the transition designer right back up. I can make more changes to it if I want. If I drag this down into my timeline, like I could do any other transition, I can also right click on it from here and choose modify transition. And then here I can go to transition designer. And I can modify the transition again, but now I can modify it over the clip so I can actually see what's happening with these clips as I make my modifications. You can click on OK. And now I can go ahead and play this back and give you a quick look at how this transition looks. Beautiful. I love it. Custom transitions with the Power Director Transition Designer. I want to thank you guys for watching the video all the way through to the end. It truly means the world to me. But now I want to give a shout out to one of our subscribers, Shrek Gaming. Shrek Gaming makes reaction videos, uh, videos on singing, cooking, gaming, short films, and more. So, do me a favor, head over to his channel, 
check out some of his videos. If you're feeling what he's dealing, make sure that you subscribe. If you want your YouTube channel to receive a shout out, just like Shrek Gaming did, make sure that you go down to the video description and click on the shout out request form. Also, if you want to make a tutorial request, go to the video description and click on the video tutorial request form that you'll find there. And now I got something I need you to do for me. The thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction? Click on it. It lets people know that the content in this video was good and that they should watch it too. If you got any comments, you just want to talk and chop it up with your boy, leave those things in the comment section below. And last but not least, smash the subscribe button. And after you do that, make sure that you click on the bell. When you do that, you receive notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. And that way you don't miss out on any of the learning and all of the fun. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.